just had somebody uh, come up to me, uh, back the second person in two minutes because I was calling uh, the lovely uh, songstress, Lisa Itz, and two people asked me for money. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, anyway, you back to... Pimp, that's what it <laughs> <that's laughs> boom, that's what it could be. Um, anyway, uh, Steve was just giving us a, a, a short monologue of a thousand clowns, which was very good, very professional. Thank you. Very professional. You should see my ghost out. monologue. Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, let, let's see a little bit of the ghost monologue. You know, okay. I mean, uh, so many people are emailing me about the people who also have a show, yeah. uh, plus uh, uh, sending letters saying uh, we need to see more ghost monologue. So, so, this is Steve now. Steve okay. Dinello, that's correct. Yep, I'm Steve Dinello. That's Steve Dinello, and he's about to do Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg in. Use your imagination. Use your imagination. And right. a one. Here he goes. Ray, Ray, I want to... Just tell us where we should start. Right now, ready? Here he All goes. Ready? Right. We're just about... <clears throat> we're getting ready now, getting set. Now keep in mind this is a comedy show. Okay. Okay, here we go. If you need to stretch, we can... There's a drink there for a little bit. There's, okay. there's a snap over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all good with that. Okay. But we're going to be putting additional clothes on so the sweat starts to come down soon. Okay, here we go. Live from... Uh, all the way from... Uh, not Greenwich, Connecticut, but... Connecticut? Uh, North Brampton, Connecticut. North Brampton, Connecticut. It's a cow town. It's a cow town. Ooh, anyway. <laughs> Steve Nello about to perform his version of Little Dixie. The cows, and here he goes. He's stuck, that's what it is. He in between worlds. You know it happens sometimes when the spirit gets yanked out of the body so quickly, but the essence still feels it has work to do here. I don't think I'm rambling, I'm just answering the question. He's got an attitude now. Yes, you do have an We have a little discussion. If you didn't have an attitude, you wouldn't have raised your voice to me now, would you? Don't you goddamn at me. Don't you take the Lord's name in vain with me, you understand? Because I don't take that. No, you relax. You're the dead guy. You want me to help you? You better apologize. That's it. I'm out of here. Nobody talks to me He's like out. that. You understand? Nobody. Nobody talks to me. You better apologize. Apologize to him. He's apologized. You know why? Because Mr. Sims doesn't want it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, Jim Brew was absolutely uh, was absolutely amazing doing that, and uh, a very wonderful uh, fellow, Jim Brew. Yeah. Now, if you recall, Jim Brew, about 1998, after the second or third year on set on Saturday Night Live, uh, Jim Brew decided he wanted to do a little summer show on MTV. Okay. Plus, he did that movie, uh, Big Clams or Clam Bake. Clam Bake, Clam Bake. Yeah. Yep. Once you're in the bubble. Saturday Night Live, yep. and you're being paid. Which I'd like to be on that one day. Big, big money to be like a Jim Brewer. Yep. You have to ask what is known as Warren Michaels' permission to do this. Okay. He did not. <laughs> really? Jim Brewer is not on the show anymore. Anyway. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. And who did uh, The Cowardly Lion? That's my other favorite character. Goku and Cowardly Lion. That's uh, the only reason I watched that show at all. I just sit there. Uh, it's just funny for me. Cowardly Lion, let's see. I don't even know who did Cowardly Lion. Was I know, you? no, wasn't me. Yeah. I know in The Wizard of Oz that was with Ray Bolger. Cowardly Lion? That was way before my time. Yeah, yeah. Right. what year was uh, Wizard of Oz? God, what was that in the 50s, 40s, 30s, 40s, right? 33. 33, 30, way before my time. Yeah. Way before, absolutely. Way Can before. you tell? Yeah, I'm starting to see him. It's finally growing in. I can remember Steve when he was this big. This big. And then, uh, I'm still that big. No, just kidding. I'm like kidding, ladies. Well, he's almost the size of Wayne Gretzky, but about a quarter inch bigger. Yeah. About <laughs> that anyway. That, that's, that's an old Valley story. That's an old Valley story. So, uh, how do you like the city? I love it. It's hot. It's miserable, but I love it. Okay. I do most of my work down here, and I might as well move here. I'm here so much. But yet, you know what? I still can't find my way on the subways. I, I take a taxi everywhere, and it's very expensive, but at least they get me there on time. I was never on time for anything. I was actually on time for each day. Half hour early. That's good, Steve. Is a That's a record. Steve is a professional. 
Check out his shoes. Absolutely. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. You know what they say about a guy with big feet, right? And it looks like Steve put a little polish on him last night or maybe early this morning. And that's what I like to see. Polish shoes.
first gig of the year, 2012. And I really, for about a couple years now, I've heard about him. I wanted to get on the show. And then I just, when I was about, I was really down and out the other day. And I literally, I said to God, I'm like, you know what? I just want to give up again because nothing's happening right now. And, you know, and then all of a sudden I get an email from him and I'm like, really? Wow. I was like, okay. So I called him up. I'm like, are you sure you want me on the show? Life is good. It is Life good. Is good. <clears throat> Life so, uh, is funny. There you I am. It's going to work. You never know. So that the point is never give up because your breakthrough is always like right there. And every, I, you think I would learn by now. How many times I've given up and then the next day breakthrough and I miss it because I always give up. So I'm not going to give up now. And uh, we're just going to see what happens to me. I'll maybe even be a bum in the street one day or I'll be rich and famous. As long as you're a good bum. Did you ever see the movie Rocky? I did. Okay. Actually, so. we listen to the soundtrack every time we drive into Philly. My father's a big Rocky fan, so we put sure. on that sure. the Rocky soundtrack. Oh, and it's like, oh, Dad, come on. This is like eight times we've been down here. Now. Yeah? <laughs> He was like, my father wants to see me in you know, one of those Bambo Rocky type movies. I do a lot of, you know, things that are just 